late last night after we sprayed the mycorrhizal uh, inoculant from BioNutrient. Um, it came to me as I was watering the plant that um, Steve Pendleton told us use um, push the growth, push the growth. He kept saying he, he talked about chelated iron. We got that from Cook's Nursery today. And we're going to spray that tonight and add turbo organic, nothing but organic and minerals um, to push that growth. And it came to me. But your willow, your white willow is growth hormone. You've got roots on these little branches that create the um, growth hormone water. Why not take those rooted little branches like this one and plant them by each tree that's suffering? So we're going to keep adding more. We did four last night. The pear tree, the crab apple, this delicious red apple, and um, I'm trying to think what the other one was. Anyway, that's what we've been doing. Just putting these great little growth hormone white willow under the branches that got knocked off by the wind. Of our beautiful willow tree here that we love so much. He's just created so much help and shade and created this beautiful atmosphere here for all the plants to live under. And when those little branches get broken up by the wind, we put them in a bucket of water, create growth hormone water, and we're going to help get lots of it here and hope that it helps this poor little apple tree with its grapevine that's just curling up all the new growth as well as on the apple and it's really hard even the apple fell off to see this curling and this dying of the leaves it just looks like it was poisoned it's just a clean poor little apple tree i just have to pray that the willow the microbes the fertilizer organic turbo organic as well as the chelated iron will help push growth so the branches from their little nodes hopefully will create new growth that will be healthy and happy and we pray that they don't find the department of agriculture did samples today of all this including soil and they don't find that it's in the soil and that we can catch it fast enough but it's really hard to see this poor little apple struggling like this when it was starting to grow so beautifully with its little grapevine with grapes on it hanging there. And unfortunately, just like the crab apple here, that we did add a little willow branch that was rooted. You can see this beautiful little willow here that we planted. And we had already put chopped and dropped comfrey leaves around the base. So we're putting those back along with this growth hormone from the willow. And we hope that'll help this poor dying little. Oh, we've been crabable. That means so much to me. Because Grant Holdaway, when he closed his nursery, vineyard nursery of 55 years, gave me this beautiful weeping crab apple and I just can't bear to lose it so I'm praying that all these different things we've learned of the benefits of the plants will help to save these poor things the KSL photographer took pictures of the little kids running through the, the food forest and all the beautiful food in here she tasted some of it which was really neat and um, shade of the sun chokes we're giving water right now to this little apple and we're going to give turbo organic in the evening it's best to fertilize and inoculate always when it's cooler it got up to 99 degrees in this food forest today so i'm sure that's making it even harder for these little trees so we're going to keep giving them everything we can and like you said steve thank you so much for letting me know yesterday push the growth push the growth doesn't seem to have curled the leaves of the white willow yet, but we pray 
that it will be okay. Because we sure love all this. Look at all the grapes growing through these trees hanging from this little crabapple tree. All those grapes. More than last year. Just hanging down on these poor little limbs that are struggling with this poison. Ah, oh, and the sumac over there that just is drying up and disappearing. It was a perfect, beautiful, round little sumac bush there that we really loved. And it would have had so many beautiful red berries all over it. It's hard. And now, way back there, I don't know if you can see it, but our golden delicious apple five-year-old tree, well, it would be six years this year, was loaded with apples this year, and it has the same signs as the Bartlett pear. Thank God I haven't seen any of it on the all-in-one sweet almond or the bean cherry. It's weird how this drift just kind of hit and missed different trees and bushes in this food forest. It's been really hard to see what we need more than anything. Because I've been begging for anyone to come with a professional camera, a cinematographer to come and film this. If we lose these trees, it just won't be the same. If someone could come and volunteer and film this, we sure would appreciate it. So we don't lose the memories of all these beautiful trees before they go. <laughs> but we're going to pray and have faith that we'll do everything we can to save them. I can see a little curling on the Danjou pear right there behind the um, uh, all-in-one sweet almond. And so it's a lot of fruit trees if anyone could come and film before they disappear. All their fruit shrivel up and turn black and their branches and leaves disappear. So let us know at permaculturedesignschool.org, utahvalleypermaculture at gmail.com or 801-808-4424. Share this with people you know that could come and film. Thank you.